Good morning, world. Good morning, all nations, all people, all tongue. Good morning to every man, woman, boy, and girl living and breathing in the face of this earth. You are important to God. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not because you are. No matter what you've done, there is nothing that you have done that God won't forgive you for. In the name of Jesus, God loves everything he created. He said it was very good. We are very good. His creation. Our actions are not always very good. But the fact that we were created, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, the fact that you were created, viewer, you were created, your creation is very good. You are wonderfully and marvelously made. So know that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit care for you. I'm talking to those that hate God, those that are atheists, those that have other gods, those that are in other denominations, those that don't rec regard God or man. You are created in the image of God and he loves you. For God said to Jesus and the Holy Spirit, come, let us make man in our image. So we are all made in the image of God. Everyone that's living and breathing, every human being that's living and breathing in the face of this earth. I make these videos to encourage the body of Christ. So I pray that you are encouraged this morning, no matter what you're going through. If you need to get your life together, Jesus Christ can help you. He said, cast all your cares on him. And that's what he means. And don't take them back. Once you cast them onto Jesus, then they are gone. Don't start talking about it. Don't let other people put negative ideas into your head. Get away from the negative talk. Get away from the things that is not positive and, and encouraging we have this walk to walk, a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That's enough in itself. We don't need to invite the devil in and negative people in. Because this is a this walk is hard enough. And we need the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to help us walk the walk and talk the talk. We can't pick up those slang of the world and think we should prosper. Because the slang of the world is, 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 is damnation words. They're not prospering words. This morning, we're talking about the foundation, which is Jesus Christ. The beginning where you're locked in and you're steadfast, unmovable foundation. All the days of your life, your grandparents, your parents, and all the generations before them locked us in steadfast, unmovable. First Peter chapter two, verse six. Wherefore also it is contained in the scriptures. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone elect, precious, and has, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded, shall not be destroyed, shall not be confused, shall not be in wonderment. Jesus Christ is the key chief cornerstone. Jesus Christ is the foundation. The foundation. Jesus Christ is the foundation and chief cornerstone. Isaiah 28, 16. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. 
he that believeth shall not make haste. Jesus is a sure cornerstone, a sure foundation, who gave his life for sinners. You can't get any better than that. Who gave his life for the world. You can't get any better than that. Whatever other religions people are believing in, their God did not give his life for them. Their God did not hang up on the cross and shed his blood and beaten with many stripes for the flesh to be healed. But Jesus did. Jesus is the foundation. When we run to Jesus, we can see what he has done for us, mankind. When we run to Jesus, we can see that he was born in a human man form so that he could know what we are going through in the human form. No other God, no other idol has done this. When we run to Jesus, he says, cast all your cares on me. When we cast all our cares on Jesus, then our mind is at peace. Cast your cares of your children on Jesus. Your mind is at peace. Cast all your cares of all family members on Jesus. Then put your mind at peace. For those that are, 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 are caregivers, that, that, that have to think for the patient, that have to think for themselves and for the patient, cast it over to Jesus Christ. You don't want to die before your time. Cast every care over to Jesus Christ. And he will guide you and direct you into what to do next. Don't talk negative things about the, the space and the place that you're in. Speak positive things. Listen to preaching, the one that God has led you to listen to, the preacher. Ask God, what preacher should I listen to? And then listen to, once God give it to you, listen to them faithfully, continuously, every day, all day sometimes, because we need encouragement. Everybody on the face of this earth need encouragement. And in the body of Christ, we are being discipled to disciple others. And along the way, we are encouraging and being encouraged. We need power. We need to know that the power of Jesus Christ live in us. And then we have got to use the power of Jesus Christ. The world is using the powers that they know to use. But when we use the power of Jesus Christ, we're at peace. We're at peace. Our mind is at peace. We have to guard our peace. Don't let anyone steal your peace. Protect your peace. Guard your eyes. You don't have to see everything. Guard your ears. You don't have to hear everything. Guard what God has given to us. Protect it. Jesus is the cornerstone, the foundation when you dig and dig into Jesus Christ, you will find peace and rest. You will find rest. You will find rest. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Jesus said, whoever listened to, likened to it is saying and follow it. He considered that person a wise man, woman, wise. He considered us wise. A wise person who has built their house upon a rock. A rock is solid. Solid. A rock is solid. Jesus Christ is solid. We won't be shaken or moved 
in our walk in Christ Jesus when we keep our eyes on Jesus. Only time you're shaking and moved is when you take your eyes off of Jesus. When things come our way, we don't know what to do about. We get some information that tries to shake us and move us. But when we stand firm in Christ Jesus and know what the word of God says, then we say, no, I'm not having it. No, this will not be because Jesus said, cast all my cares on him and this care I cast on him. And then saints, body of Christ, we have to be obedient. You have to be obedient to the word of God. You have to be obedient to the way God tell us to take care of these bodies. We have to be obedient. God say, drink water, drink water. God say, don't eat a certain thing. Don't eat a certain thing. You're not going to die. Find something else to eat. First Timothy, first Timothy 619. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the times to come that they may lay hold on eternal life. We're laying up a good foundation through Christ Jesus. With the covert, those that are in Jesus Christ, we laid up a good foundation. Jesus Christ is our protector. He is our Lord and our God. He gave us information on what to do when the covert virus was, was, was running rampant. Jesus is our foundation. If when we keep our eyes on him, there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to fear. When COVID came, God said to me, it's going to run its course, but it won't touch you with or without the mask. It will not touch you. So see, when we have Jesus as our foundation, he protects us. He doesn't let any sickness and disease touch us. He said Corbin was going to run his course, but it will not touch you. So when these things come upon the earth, when we're in Christ Jesus and we have dug our heels in and we're running on, we're running our course, running, not sitting down, not lazily walking. We're running the course. Jesus is here. We have cast all cares on him. And since we have cast our cares on Jesus Christ, he will give us instructions on what to do and how to do it and when to do it. The government shutdowns. I remember a time when when um, when I was married before my husband passed away. Uh, God knew the government was going to shut down, but but we didn't know the government was going to shut down. And God told my husband to um, save up this amount of money for a certain amount of time. And sure enough, when the government shut down for three months, we were set because he followed God's instructions. He was obedient because God knew the government was going to shut down for three months. He knew it was coming. But when we listen to God and we, he prepares us, he prepares us. God is telling you to put up money and to save up money. He's preparing you for something. Something is coming. You don't know what, but something is coming. So we have to be obedient. Foundation, foundation, foundation. Firm foundation. Jesus is our firm foundation. He is going to protect us. He's going to guide us. He's going to lead us. Our job is to love one another. Be a blessing to others. Be discipled so that we may disciple others. And do the job that Jesus has given us to do by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Get people out of your ear and get Jesus in your ear. Get the word of God in your ear. Go to church. Ask God to lead you to a church home that he would have you to go to so that you can grow and expand and be discipled is so very important and vital to the um, lasting, 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 everlasting walk with Jesus Christ. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.19 
Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. In Jesus being our foundation, he will teach us how to run from sin. How to remove ourselves from iniquity. How to get off of the scene of evilness. How to remove ourselves from every evil person. He will remove us from the atmosphere of evilness. And we can't crave it and run back to it. We've got to stay with Jesus Christ because he's our foundation. Some people like excitement and drama. Well, then you have to ask yourself, what's more important? Jesus or the drama? So what, when, you're, when someone is out there and they like to drink up drama and you've given your life to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is not about the drama. He's about peace. We are peacemakers and we keep the peace. We don't do drama because this is not what Jesus Christ is about in his foundation. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to the videos and I pray for your prosperity and encouragement all the days of your life. God bless.